In this lesson, we're going to be talking about doing data validation under Windows. Now, similar to Linux, there are a number of different types of utilities that will do differences in files. And right here, I've got one called Compare It. And I'm going to go to my documents library here and just find a couple of files that I can do a comparison on. So I'm just doing a comparison between these two files here, and it suggests that there are a number of differences, and it's showing me in a paned view here where there's a left-hand side and a right-hand side comparisons between these two files. Again, this is just a very simple text compare, and I haven't chosen particularly good examples because there's so many differences between these two files that the program is really just confused because it has very little place to start. So there's a lot of differences between these two files, but something like compare it, or there's another utility called WinDiff, and there are a number of others that will do simple compares between two files and show you the differences. So that's if you just want to do just a simple comparison between two files and see visually what the differences are. There are some other things that we can do that will actually generate cryptographic hashes of different files. I've got a utility here called FCIV that comes from Microsoft, and you can download it from them if you just search for File Checksum Integrity Verifier. You should be able to find it on the Microsoft site, and you can download this. It will actually generate cryptographic hashes of different files. So I could do a cryptographic hash of a file and either get an MD5 hash or a SHA-1 hash or both. So I could do, let me just find, actually I can do it here on the file itself. And I'm going to do an MD5 hash right here. I can do a SHA-1 hash of the same file. And then I can also do both. And you'll see if you look, the MD5 is the same, not surprisingly, because that's just the way cryptographic hashes work. It doesn't matter how many times I run it, I'm going to get the same cryptographic hash because the input is the same. So you can see the MD5 hash is the same as when I did it above and the SHA-1, the same thing. So I can generate an MD5 checksum, and I can generate a SHA-1 checksum. And sometimes it's helpful to be able to have both just as a backup. So you've just covered your bases by getting both an MD5 sum and a SHA-1 sum. In addition to utilities like FCIV, and you should also be able to find an MD5 sum for Windows and probably a SHA-1 sum as well, written by people or companies that are not Microsoft. Those are available out there. In addition to those, when we start working more with the different forensic tools like ProDiscover or NCASE or FTK or some of the other ones, they will also generate cryptographic hashes of the different evidence files and the different image files. So while there are a lot of utilities available for Linux, there are also a lot of different utilities available for Windows as well when it comes to validating data and ensuring that what you've got hasn't changed from the point where you gathered the information to the point where you are presenting the information. And again, while file differences are okay, cryptographic hashes are definitely more useful and more acceptable when it comes to presenting the information and particularly when it comes to presenting evidence in a court case.